that it is Wellness Wednesday and nearing 11 o'clock, so I started a little bit early on our Lunch and Learn. I got some feedback on that and you liked that I came on later in the afternoon than in the morning last week, so I thought I would try it again. And so my day here at the practice kicks off at noon, so I thought I'd do Wellness Wednesday and Early Lunch and Learn here in the Midwest at 11 o'clock. And it was great because I was able to get my work in my work out at Orange Theory in first, which felt so good. Um, my workouts have not been feeling good for a while, and that was my first sign that I was not okay. So I'm gonna share my story with you, my personal health story, because again, if I can encourage one person or save one life by sharing my story, then I am satisfied. So it is okay to not be well. I know we have a habit of just pushing through, suppressing our symptoms, moving forward and pretending we're okay. I have done it myself. I have had all the symptoms of a woman having a heart attack, but never at the same time. So in February, while I was teaching you heart health on Wellness Wednesday, I was having the symptoms of a woman having a heart attack all at once. I had the jaw pain. I had the cold sweats. I had sleeplessness. I had a racing heart and a heavy chest. And I was trying to pretend I was okay, but in the back of my mind, I was very worried. I have a bad history of heart health in my family. My father passed away at a young age. And so I needed to take it seriously. And I let about three, four weeks go by before I had coffee with two dear friends who I can tell them anything. And I just said, hey ladies, this is how I've been feeling. It's coming at me all at once. I'm concerned, you know, with my health history. You know, you guys would take a look at me and you know I eat clean and you know I exercise and you know I'm little, but it doesn't mean I'm healthy. I have shared with you my blood sugar troubles and how I overcame them. And so I was concerned that this was genetic and this was, you know, something that I could not fix with my diet and my exercise. So I wanted to rule some things out. And I did. I wanted an EKG and I wanted a stress test. And I'm very lucky that I have an amazing doctor here in town. I would give you her name, but she's not taking new patients. So I'm fortunate to have her. She listens to me. She is humble and she will ask Judy, what do you need? Is there something I'm overlooking? And I was honest. I said, you know, I just want to rule out a physical heart concern. Otherwise, I think I better take a look at stress and anxiety, um, cortisol levels. So I had her do the EKG, I had her do the stress test, and I had her run a panel of labs uh, for all kinds of things, thyroid, anemia, cortisol level, levels, liver function, and more. Let's just rule out anything physical that I can, that I can, and then I will surrender and admit that stress and anxiety got the best of me. I had one heck of a year just like everybody else, but on top of that, I moved a house um, and I got divorced. And after one full year of chronic stress, up and downs, my body and mind can only take so much. Like this chair I'm sitting on, our bodies can only take so much stress. I put enough weight on this chair over a period of time and this chair will break. And so did I. Surprise, imagine that, Judy is human. So if you can relate, throw me some hearts, my goodness. I am pouring my heart out to you guys. So stress will manifest itself physically somewhere in the body. And over a year of chronic stress, that cortisol does get imbalanced. 
So you can have the weight of the world on your shoulders and have shoulder pain. That's not related to anything you did physically. It's just related to you emotionally. Good, I should say good morning, Kimberly. Hi, Tom. Um, you can wear your shoulders as earrings. You need to relax and just breathe. You can literally worry yourself sick. Little kids do it all the time. They have tummy aches before and after school because they have worried themselves sick. Hi, Amy. Good to see you. So I believe in science and medicine, even though I'm holistic, and there's glue that holds this girl together. And it is from medical to holistic, from friends to practitioners, from stress management technique, techniques and supplements. So it takes a village to take care of me and I know that. So my health concerns did identify more with stress and anxiety than anything physical. So I'm very blessed that way. And I will take measures to take care of myself. So I reached out to my natural path. So even a natural path needs a natural path. And she is in Ohio and I'm blessed to have her. And she said, girl, we are gonna straighten you out. So I have been on an herbal program for three weeks now and I am feeling good. I am sleeping. The pain has left my body. I am able to get through my workouts with energy. Oh, and I can't wait to go camping. I am a glamper and that will start real soon. And that is just what the doctor ordered. Ordered. So my, my, my CTA to you, my call to action is do not ignore your symptoms. It is okay to not be well. It's a great idea to get checked out and build yourself an army of people to take care of you. I have friends, I have my naturopath, I have my medical doctor, I have my chiropractor, I have my massage therapist, I have Orange Theory that I love. So it really takes a lot to keep a body in balance. My herbal supplements, I am using magnesium, I am using stress relief, which is a Chinese formula. I am building my blood with a Chinese formula for a little anemia. I'm taking B12 for energy and CoQ10 to protect my heart. So that's it, that is Wellness Wednesday. And the message is it's okay to not feel okay. And it's a great idea to say something and get things all checked out. I don't want one thing to happen to my dear friends. So if you don't have a person in your life and you need a consultation with me, just let me know you watched Wellness Wednesday and I'll throw you a discount and we can sit down and figure out what your body needs, what's going on with you, and I will pull together a resource of practitioners to get you what you need to take care of yourself. So that's the message. Take care, dear ones, and thank you for listening to my story.